KCBD News Channel 11's Ben Lawson is at the scene at 118th Street and University. Ben, what can you tell us? Karen, we just spoke with the property owner, Brandon Black, and he tells us he was able to get a hold of the man who rents this trip mobile home from him just about 15 minutes ago. That man's name is Steve Booker. Now, what we're told from the landlord is that Booker is a cross-country truck driver, and he was actually out of the state at the time of this fire, but they're hoping that he can get back into town by tomorrow afternoon. You can see behind me, this mobile home is a total loss. Fire crews were called out here around 3 o'clock this afternoon. The flames and smoke shot so high, as you can see from our tower cam, that the flames and the smoke especially could be seen as far away from North Lubbock. We're actually told by the landlord that he was working in west of the city and he could see the smoke. Woodrow volunteer fire crews got out here on the scene. Actually, our video journalist John Barry was first on the scene. He captured the Woodrow volunteer fire crews arriving on scene. They quickly got out the hoses, started battling the fire. They did call Wolferth out to assist. The thing is that this property is outside of the city limits, so there are not fire hydrants nearby, so they needed those tanker trucks to come in here and help get the fire. We spoke with neighbor Diana Cruz, who tells us she saw the fire and immediately called 911. Yeah, somebody lives there, but he's not home. And they said if his car's not there, that he's not there, because I was going to go and knock while it was still a little flame, you know, bang on the door and see if anybody was in there. Now, Karen, right now, fire crews did not release a pause to this fire. The good thing is, as you know, we've had such dry conditions out here. They were able to get out here in enough time to douse this blaze before it could reach to any other nearby homes. If you come look live out here on the scene again, you can see just how close the neighboring mobile home is to this fire. Dry grass in between here. But again, fortunately, the fire crews are able to get out here in enough time to douse the fire. Again, we are still working to figure out a cause on this. And once we get that, we'll bring it to you on air and online at KCBD.com. Karen? All right, thank you, Ben. We'll talk more about those dry conditions in a moment. But first, just after...